Sheeps like weed. I like weed too. Welcome to my channel. Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today I want to present you another smoke spot in Uster. My first video got an amazing amount of attention somehow. So I figured I'd show you another one of my favorite smoke spots. And don't be too excited yet, it's not here, but this spot is very close and it also is very nice. As you can see, there's a river in the back and there's a nice view over this lake down here. Funny story about this lake, there used to be cameras set up around here because how are they are always trains going by? I can't understand it, man. I can't film a single video without a train going by. I'm so not happy. So there used to be cameras around here because there were some people fishing from up here and stealing the lake owner's fish right there because he put some fe special fish in there and they were just were stolen by some fishers. Fun little fun fact. Let's go. Okay, guys, so let's take a little hike to this spot. I must be honest, I think I smoked about a hundred times there already. Maybe not a hundred times, I maybe smoked a hundred joints there. I'm pretty sure I smoked a hundred joints there. So this spot is called, as you can read in the title, 500 mile spot. This name comes because it's pretty far away from my friend's house and once when we are high as fuck on brownies, we decided to walk the way to this spot right there and that's how it got this name. It's also of course because of the song. I hope you know it. If you don't know it, Google it right now. There's also an amazing How I Met Your Mother story with this song. I just love it. And we're gonna show a short clip here. So, this song, it's the best song in the world. It's the only song I like. Just kidding! <laughs> Tape's been stuck in the player for like two years. Better than nothing though. Okay guys, so as we get closer to the spot, you might already know the environment. Because it's a fact, I smoke quite a bit here. I also recorded some of my videos here. <laughs> Most of the videos with a train in them are filmed right up there. It's just an amazing spot, you can see it. It's situated in this nice landscape. There's a river flowing by really gently. And another advantage is that there is really no people going by there. Unless today somehow there's a guy in front of there. But it's a really secluded spot in general. And there's not a lot of people going by. Which is nice if you plan to spark a few joints. Another big advantage of this spot of course is that it has a roof. And you might say, why is the roof such a big deal? And if you even ask yourself that, you've never try to roll a joint while it was raining. Because it's a fact some of us, we don't have always an apartment to go to and smoke, like a nice um, dry balcony. And it's really nice to have such an option, like a nice dry patch of land, to just go spark up with your friends, enjoy a few joints, and don't be bothered by anyone. I can't believe it, there's another train coming. What is going on today? This shit really starts to piss me off, man. Ah, it's actually not that bad. So now, let's finally take a quick look at the spot. As you can see, there's the river man. Down there is the train rails. And here is a nice little roof. It's just very secluded and dry. And it's a very enjoyable place to smoke a little joint. Okay, there was just a guy coming by, nice really defeats my point of saying that there's no people up here but it's really very unoften that people come away around here so another nice fact about this little spot right here is that there is another really nice spot nearby we're just gonna walk for, for a few more meters Just enjoy these nice luscious green hills. It's just such an amazing view. It looks like in The Hobbit. As you can see, 
this is really a very interesting landscape because right over here I didn't know actually that they did cut down wood around here but as you can see there's a cave right over there which you can chill in if it's raining but that's not the nicest spot let me just walk about 20 more meters a small disadvantage of this spot is that there is quite a lot of traffic around but you can handle it if you have a nice large joint what the fuck now you're kidding me maybe the heavy snowfall this year caused this tree to fall and now the way is fucked like the path is completely ripped open what is going on that's borderline dangerous so as you can see we arrived at the spot and it's just like an amazing little semi cave there's those quite comfortable sitting stones right here and in the summer when there's leaves on the trees you hear the street wailers and it's just a very nice spot to just chill out spark up a joint and relax guys i hope you enjoyed this little tour of some smoke spots around Uster. of course i will leave the coordinates of the 500 mile spot in the description below so if you live in this area you can go check it out yourself i hope you enjoyed this little video consider to like and subscribe and i will see you in another one